let's talk about the flow direction tool. This is one of the tools in the terrain analysis tool set that deals with understanding how water flows across land. Now, here we're looking at um, a diagram of how the tool works um, as it moves across a raster uh, data set. So the question is, if a drop of water, let's say this is a drop of water, <laughs> If a drop of water were to fall on this cell on our elevation surface from our DEM, which way would it go? And we use flow direction to help us tell us uh, what our, um, where our watersheds are, where rivers are, channels, things like that. So the tool is asking the raster which direction from this center cell here that we're concerned about, if our drop of water falls here, which direction is our steepest downward descent? So how do we calculate that steepest downward descent? The other thing to know about um, flow direction is that it is a bookkeeping scheme. So the numbers we're going to assign to each cell don't have any value. It's just identifying direction. So instead of north, south, southeast, west, we are giving it a number. So the numbers that'll be assigned are uh, straight east is one, east south east is two, or southeast is two, um, four, eight, 16, uh, 32, 64, and 128. So these are all just bookkeeping numbers. You know, it's like a coded value more than uh, 128 doesn't have anything to do with uh, 128 of anything. It just means Northeast. So back to our cell, the tool is going to, like I said, scan across your uh, uh, raster surface cell by cell and calculate this, the direction of steepest downward descent. So basically, if we're looking at the cell here where the 67 is, um, and this is um, over here is our output, just so you know, <laughs> um, it is going to look at each direction and say, is this less than 67? Is this less than 67? And so on and so forth until it hits with this 56 value, the 44 value, and the 53 value because those are um, less than 67. So it will then calculate 67 minus 56, 67 minus 53, 67 minus 44, 11, oh. No, I wrote these down but I'm sharing my screen and I don't remember. Okay, 14 and 23. So 14 and 67 minus 44 is 23. So this here, this 23 is our steepest downward descent. So we know that this cell 67 that we're concerned about on this output over here, this is what we are going to code as the direction of Southeast, which if we look down here, direction of Southeast is two. So our output cell on our output raster, this would be coded as two, giving us that direction for that cell. Now we could take this a step further. Nope, we can't and pretend that, um, I thought I had these already edited, but we could say, okay, what if we wanted to look at um, this cell here, the 56, um, sorry, if it has a 56 in it, how about if we considered these six cells to calculate what we would put in this output? And let's say our values in these two grid cells are 71, let's say 49, whoops. And this one is, uh, what do we say, 4937. So we will do the same thing again, scanning each of the eight options for directions, looking for 
that steepest downward descent until you know it does all the calculations and then hits on um, that the 37 is our steepest downward descent. So again, this cell on the output would be coded as two. Now that obviously would take forever if you did it. So the computer does it for you and it does it pretty rapidly, which is quite nice. Um, and you can see on, um, here we go, on this Jamboard, the version of what we just did. And so here you're seeing again that directional coding, you're seeing our elevation surface with the elevations and then calculating um, we just calculated these two here, and you can see calculating out all the other directions. Um, this will start to give us an idea of where the peaks and valleys are in our data set. Um, it will also let us know, again, where that raindrop, how that raindrop is going to travel across um, our surface. So help us figure out where watersheds are, where rivers are, where channels are. Um, and it's a, one of the first tools we'll use in uh, watershed analysis.